Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So as you can see from my background, if you paid attention to my last couple of videos, I've been out of town doing some work, but I am back. I'm back home in my normal domain, and I am so happy to be here because while I love my suite and I love my suite mates and all that kind of stuff, that room, I didn't have all of my equipment, the lighting was not my friend, and it was just very hard to record and try to be respectful to everyone else and, you know, stay quiet while I was also trying to scream and all that kind of stuff. So it just was not the best place for me to record, but I'm glad to be back home. Um, I took the last few days off just to kind of recoup and recover, recover, plus I had to go back to my other job, so... You know, fun stuff. But anywho, we are here to get back to our reaction video grind. Yes, ma'am, I am behind schedule. I've got a lot of things to catch up on and I'm gonna try my best to cram through as many of these as I possibly can. But first on the list, um, we have a subscriber request. Um, shout out to Mr. David, my one of my good friends. Um, I feel like I shouted him out in a video before, but I can't remember. I did. I did because the last time I shouted him out, I shouted out um, David Horn and then he came back and he's like, hey, the name is David Rain, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, listen, bitch, your YouTube name still says David Horn. So because you changed your name elsewhere to Rain, that your name on, on YouTube says David Horn. So don't be coming at me sideways like this. OK, it is what it is. And then he changed his name. But, you know, beside the point. Anyway, here's my baby, David. Yes. Um, he sent me a text uh, last week when I was out of town and like I said, I just took the last few days off just to kind of recoup and whatnot, so I'm just now getting around to it. But he asked me to react to the official trailer that was released for um, Aladdin, the live action remake that they're doing. Um, I don't think I've done a whole lot of non-musical reactions on this channel. I think the only one I did was when I reacted to the Mortal Kombat um, 11 official trailer, whatever that came out months and months ago. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. So without further ado, well, let's just get all up into this. They're over there! Get them! Stop! Please! You better talk to her up that wall, bitch! Uh. Hey, Jasmine. You stumbled upon an opportunity. Oh. I can make you rich. Rich enough to impress a princess. Oh. What would I have to do? There's a cave of wonders. Bring me the lamp. One who summons me, I stand by my oath, loyalty to wishes three. I'm kidding. Watch this. <laughs> Watch out. Uh, you done wound me up. You ain't never had a friend like me. Hey, can you make me a prince? There is a lot of gray area in make me a prince. I could just make you a prince. Oh, no. Y'all see my power? <laughs> you look like a prince on the outside, but I didn't change anything on the inside. Showtime. No, I'm in charge. You okay, that I say back it's time. What are you doing? Oh. Really? Oh. I thought a princess could go anywhere. Not this princess. Do you trust me? Okay, well, that was cute. Now, I loved 
there was so much use of color just in that little two and a half whatever minutes that I saw there. Like when they first showed Jasmine, she was walking down the stairs and she had that that sort of pink dress. I think there were other colors there too. Oh, that was gorgeous. And even when he was, Aladdin was just in like the marketplace or whatever, and there was like the bright yellow sort of like banners hanging from the, um, from the, there's not a ceiling because it was outside, but from like the wires across the windows, whatever, I don't know, I'll, I'll put it here. Those things. Like, there was just such great color in this, in this trailer. It makes me excited to see it because, um, I've, I've had my reservations about it, to say the least. Um, and not even because of the whole Will Smith genie CGI thing that everybody was going all crazy about because whatever. I mean, unfortunately, Robin Williams is no longer with us and you know, you can't replace Robin Williams, but they put someone in his place. And I'm sure Will Smith is gonna do a great job. Um, but, like, I've just had my reservations with this just because, like, it seems like Disney's kind of, I'm not gonna say running out of ideas, but, like, everything is getting a live-action remake, and it's, like, it's cool, it's fantastic, but at the same time, it's, like, they're just playing on my generation's nostalgia and just, like, okay, well, we're just gonna make, you know, another quick cool 50 million dollars because we got all these people out there who are gonna freak out about this nostalgic live-action remake and it's like just cranking them out one two three bam 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 and at first it was cool but now it's kind of like okay let's come up with an actual new movie like I, I love seeing these things turn live-action ish but let's turn into a new, let's bring something new but I'm actually I'm looking forward to seeing this after seeing that trailer um, a whole new world sounded like it was going to be fantastic. Um, and I'm looking forward to, um, I don't know anything about the soundtrack, but I'm looking forward to seeing who they get to sing the pop version or the album version or whatever. Um, just like they do with most Disney movies. So you have the characters who sing it in the movie and then you have whatever pop stars sing it for the soundtrack. Um, Vanessa Williams did Colors of the Wind. Peebo Bryson and Regina Bell did A Whole New World in the original Aladdin. Peebo Bryson and Celine Dion did, you know, Beauty and the Beast. And then when they did the remake, there was John Legend and Ariana Grande. And Demi Lovato did Let It Go for Frozen. It, it's just how they do it. So I'm looking forward to seeing who they pick for this. Um, I mean, obviously anyone who knows me knows that. I think you should give all of these songs to Kelly Clarkson and somebody else because Kelly Clarkson is life. And I would love to hear her sing all of these songs, but you know, I'm sure whoever they choose can be fantastic. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, yeah, when Aladdin was turned into Prince Ali and he had his hair all slicked back to the side, he was looking like a snack. And you know, right now I'm currently dieting, so you know, I'm watching my snack intake, but you know, I might could, you know, break my diet a little bit for him. How you doing? And then don't get me started on Daddy Jafar. Yes, ma'am. When I first saw them, when I first saw the release pictures of who was playing Jafar, whew, about damn near fell out my seat. And then my friends started sending me all these shirtless pictures. And I, oh Lord Jesus, mm, that is one good-looking man. Let me tell you. And Princess Jasmine is—I'm not familiar with the actress, um, but she's gorgeous. Um, someone told me I think she was in the updated Power Rangers movie. I haven't watched it yet. I'm behind the times I need to get with it. But, beautiful cast. Um, like I said, the scenery and all the colors just look beautiful. Um, I'm looking forward to um, Friend Like Me, um, the Genie song, because I, I love a good production number and I'm hoping it's gonna be kind of on par with how Beauty and the Beast did um, Be Our Guest, because that was just color and yeah, it was all CGI, but you know, whatever. It was a spectacle to behold and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm living for it. Um, I'm hoping for a lot of good production numbers from this movie. Um, I mean, Aladdin is my second favorite Disney movie, the first being Beauty and the Beast, because Beauty and the Beast is my everything, but Aladdin was one of my childhood favorites. Um, actually, you'll see Nope, never mind. That was me holding Beauty and the Beast. I was gonna say there was a picture of me and my young, my older brother um, at Christmas when I was a little kid, and he got Game Boy games and a football, and I got Aladdin. But now that I think of it, I think that was Beauty and the Beast. 
more reason that I was more reason that it was my favorite movie and what's I guess they my parents already knew what was up one of us was going to be into sports and one of us was going to be into singing and dancing and well, we all see how that turned out but anyway I think I've babbled enough about this two and a half minutes um, um, preview um, or trailer so I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe um, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted if there's anything you'd like me to react to be sure to leave it down in the comments and I'll be sure to get to it as soon as possible and until the next time I'll see you in the next video love you Mwah.